The premise of the film is the Western world meeting the Asian world. In my design, I utilize Chinese fabrics, Chinese textiles, Chinese techniques from those times, and also I brought many fabrics from the Western world. The use of the leather was very important. It's almost like a puzzle of pieces of leather that move with the shape of the person and also acts as a defense armor. There were many, many meetings about colors, philosophy of colors, what colors would combine better, and what would the audience would react to better. They are very important for the filmmaker, who is the master of color. Many of the designs were based on the historical costumes from the time. The challenge was to get six regiments from scratch. The director wanted to portray the animal characteristics in a beautiful, sculpted way, especially in their helmets. For every costume, we have about 18 elements to it, and there's a reason for every decoration and ornament in every costume. When we started doing the Imperial Palace, we started making costumes about silk and brocades and beautiful, crazy embroideries. On top of embroidery, we will do more hand embroidery. And then we hand applique metallic coils, semi-precious stones. It's a labor of love. At one point, I had 18 hands on top of the costume. Maybe 90% of my crew was Chinese, and I'm very proud that it was a dream team. You can only do these kind of films with the great skill in craftsmen that we find in China. <laughs>